Well, this is certainly a shocking and frightening expression of the sickness of our society and the deep hatred that pervades so much of our society. And I think this reveals that we have in certain sections of our country uh, a barbaric expression that is at points uh, as bad or worse than Hitler's Germany. Uh, I think the FBI is to be commended for its persistence in seeking to find out what happened to these men and in discovering the bodies. And I think now it is even more urgent to go all out to discover who perpetrated this dastardly act. For if these persons are not found, uh, it can lead to even darker nights of terror and it may encourage forces that would engage in such acts of violence and murder. The finding of the bodies of the three Mississippi civil rights workers is a saddening and shocking reminder of the brutality of race hatred. We naturally expect that those responsible for these terrible murders will be brought to justice. Only enforcement of constitutional and human rights will assure that such acts will not be repeated. With all the talk about Negro riots in the North and demonstrations in the South, I want to remind this nation that the Negro has ever been the victim of violence. We do not condone violence when used by racist and reckless people of any color. But if a spirit of brotherhood is to prevail, we will need the protection of the law for our righteous work. No, I don't. I don't have any information as to the method of the murders or as to who did it. I certainly hope, as I said earlier, that the FBI will use all of its resources to apprehend the perpetrators of this dastardly act because if they go unfound and unpunished, it may serve to encourage others to engage in the same kind of violence.